Okay, welcome to the last part of chapter four. Uh, we're gonna close this document, start a new one. Uh, we're gonna talk about two different things today. Uh, that's what conclude chapter four. First thing is using the hotspots. Now, hotspot has another uh, meaning for it. If you are in the real world and using hotspot, is that's how you can, that's how you connect to a Wi-Fi. This is not the way we do it here. Actually, Dreamweaver and Expression Web agrees on the terminology of hotspots. A hotspot is, is a concept is where you take an image. Part of that image is linked to one area and another part of the same image go to another area. So I'll show you how that exercise is going to be done. I'm going to be doing something similar. So this right here is one image. Uh, that's and uh, and but has four different hotspots. Again, it's only one image. There are not four images in there. You can see that with indication of the blue uh, border. That means because that there are links in here. So this one right here is telling me go to one area uh, of the page. Here goes to another area. Here goes to one more area. So the f that image has four hotspots. And you can see as, a, as soon as I click on it, how the the border of the hotspots or the area of the hotspots, or right here, it's a circular here, and so and we're gonna use those shapes to create those hotspots. So uh, let's move forward. We're gonna create a new page, and if you create a new page, there are, multi, there are two different ways to create a new page. The fastest way to create a new page, if I'm in that, make sure you click that folder to select, then click on this new page. Or you want to do it traditionally, uh, if you go File, New, Page, and select the general, HTML, and you click OK. This is another way. Here you want to make sure it saves in your tutorial folder. So to do this, I go save as, and uh, it's in, now here is in my tutorial folder. Make sure this is correct right here. And I'm going to name it uh, the name adopt new.html. So again, we don't see a, an appropriate title, so I'm going to change the title right here. Again, the book doesn't talk about this, but that actually bothers me for not having the right content. Click OK and save. The, the thing we're going to insert in here is that image that, uh, that we're going to use to create that hotspot. So that image is adopt.png. That's simply left click, drag and drop. You don't have to actually give it any name because we don't need it. Click OK. So you can see it's a one big image. So let me save it and view it in the browser. And so far we have this. Again, none of those are working because uh, we have not set the hotspots for them. So let me go back to the uh, expression web. So select the image to activate your picture toolbar. If your picture toolbar is not there, make sure it's there by right clicking on the picture and show picture toolbar. Let me repeat. So let me close this one uh, so you know that I need it. If it's not there, I can go to uh, panels and get it, or I can go right click the fastest way and show picture toolbar. And once you're in here, you're going to see all this uh, buttons are active to use. I want you to. I want you to pay attention to those area right here. One, two, three, and four. Those are my hotspots. Uh, one, two, three, and this one will show you where the hotspots are actually located in. So the first one is the rectangular hotspots. So if I click on it, I have a pen that I can actually draw from one corner to another corner, and right away that link is going to come out to tell me what you want to do. So I want to link to an existing page. So I'm going to click on here, go to my data files, go to my tutorial folder. And so from in tutorial, I'm going to select kitten.html, click OK. Uh, I will show you how to resize if you're interested. So I'm going to do another 
uh, picture right here. I'm going to do another hotspot right here. So I'm going to draw another rectangle shape right here. And if he, if he made a mistake and he stopped right here, uh, do you not have to cancel? Actually, you can fix that. I'll, I'll show you. So I'm going to let go. So my link comes up here and asks me to go to select main. Then click OK. So how to fix this? I can use those resize handler and I can do this to fill the box. We just changed the, cord uh, the coordinates of the shape but the link is still there. Now for the the poppy adoptions we're going to add a circular shape. There's a trick to do a circular shape. The trick is, is keep the control key down and start from the center. But I have to click on the oval right from the center hit the control key down and draw and it's gonna be almost there and let go again this is a poppy adoption so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit find poppy select it click OK and the last shape and I've used this quite a bit if I don't have a clean straight lines or uh, or rectangular shape and have a very rigid uh, edges so I will use the polygonal shape I click right here that the difference between this shape and the other ones you're gonna start from one point and you want to end at the same point to close the shape so I'm gonna if I start right here I click right here don't let go go to this shape let go I click right here again let go click right here let go click right here let go and as soon as I hit the uh, the same point automatically recognize that I close the shape it asks me to click where to into my info center so I click my info and click OK uh, I'm gonna save it then I go F12 to refresh uh, to see it in the browser or oh, actually I have it in the browser let's just go ahead to my browser uh, refresh and you can see this is different than the one we've had earlier and it's worked the same way. If you want to get rid of this, the blue bar, I'll show you other examples of the uh, of the hotspots from my website. But let me go ahead and show you how to remove that blue bar. Double click to go into a property of the page and property of the picture. Click on the appearance tab and make the border equal zero. Click OK. Save. Go back to your browser, refresh, and the border is gone. Uh, so let me show you an example that uh, of a hotspot where you see more and better action. I'm going to go to my site, which is people.highline.edu.olkalili. And this is one picture banner. I have two hotspots for it. The first one will go to highline.edu. Uh, the second one comes back to the same page. So if I go to my schedule here, I click right here, it well, comes back to the same area. So this is my hotspots. If your links are wrong in your hotspots, how do you fix it? I can double click the shape, will bring me back to that uh, hyperlink. I can edit it, remove it, or uh, change it if it's necessary. Let's go back and open uh, petsnew.html that we worked with earlier because I'm going to change the way those colors uh, appears so by default and you don't always see it but there are four different colors of, uh, for a hyperlink the first color was the default color in this case is blue the visited color in this case is purple the hover color could be a different color and a press down color as you press down it's also a different color so let me explain to you so I'm gonna go ahead into the property of the page and go to formatting and here are the four different uh, colors if you wanna change this I will go ahead and change this so I'm gonna change it more uh, I will do a lot better way of doing this so using styles or applying styles so again, I'm not going to follow the book. I'm just going to do something on my own. So I'm going to change it from a blue default color to uh, 
burgundy or maroon visit a uh, hyperlink I can change it keep it to maroon if you want to and active hyperlink keep it maroon again you can do whatever you want however hover hyperlink I'm gonna make it teal so I'm gonna click OK so everything changed and this is why I don't want to uh, have an, a text hi, uh, bookmark here but that's fine we can fix that later control s to save view the browser so as I press on, as I hover over it gonna give me that green again I can do more with this but that should be good enough we're done with chapter 4